the shipping industry is about to be turned upside down. For over a century, giant cargo ships have guzzled heavy fuel oil, spewing out toxic smoke that makes them one of the dirtiest polluters on the planet. But in Japan, a radical breakthrough just happened. The world's first commercial ammonia-powered ship engine has been built and it could completely rewrite the rules of global trade. But here's the catch. This isn't just another eco-friendly experiment. It's a machine so powerful, so efficient and so groundbreaking that it might trigger a domino effect across the $2 trillion shipping industry. And what happened during its tests shocked even scientists. For decades, engineers have dreamed of a fuel that could keep massive engines running without choking the skies with greenhouse gases. Ammonia has always been a tempting candidate. It's carbon-free, widely produced, and can be made using renewable energy. But there's a dark side. Ammonia is highly toxic, difficult to ignite, and if handled the wrong way, it can be deadly. That's why, until now, no one had managed to make it work safely at a commercial scale. The struggle was real. Traditional engines couldn't handle ammonia's stubborn chemistry. It burns slowly, resists ignition, and releases dangerous byproducts like nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas far more potent than CO2. For years, ammonia-powered engines were dismissed as impossible, a futuristic dream forever stuck in research labs. But then came a bold Japanese company with a history of defying the odds, Japan Engine Corporation. From their headquarters in Akashi, they launched a secretive program backed by Japan's Green Innovation Fund. The mission was clear. Build the world's first large-scale ammonia engine that wasn't just a prototype, but ready for real ships, real oceans, and real cargo. What happened next shocked the entire shipping world. In August 2025, after thousands of hours of grueling tests, J. E. Eng unveiled the 7 UEC-50L SJAHPSCR a name that sounds like a string of random letters but hides something historic. This is a massive seven-cylinder engine, each with a bore the size of a car tire, 19.6 inches wide. It's fitted with a high-pressure catalytic system that uses ammonia itself to clean up nitrogen emissions, a clever twist where the fuel becomes the cure. And here's where it gets even crazier. During full-power tests, this engine was fed with 95% ammonia and it didn't just survive, it thrived at 100% load, it produced just 3 parts per million of nitrous oxide. That's more than a 90% cut in greenhouse gases compared to oil. Nitrogen oxide emissions dropped by half, and unburned ammonia, which everyone feared, was practically zero thanks to advanced after-treatment systems. But here's the hidden truth. Not only is this engine cleaner, it's just as efficient if not more than traditional heavy fuel oil engines. That means shipping companies won't have to sacrifice performance for sustainability. And for an industry obsessed with reliability, that's the game changer. To understand why this is revolutionary, you need to know the scale of the problem. Global shipping moves 90% of the world's trade, but if it were a country, it would be the sixth largest polluter on earth. For years, regulators have begged shipping giants to cut their emissions. Some experimented with LNG, others with methanol, and a few with hydrogen. But all of these fuels come with trade-offs, storage challenges, cost or limited infrastructure. Ammonia on the other hand offers a unique edge. It can be produced from renewable electricity and nitrogen from the air. It doesn't release carbon dioxide when burned and it already has a global supply chain thanks to its use in fertilizers. In short, ammonia has been hiding in plain sight, a potential silver bullet for decarbonizing the seas. But remember, the catch has always been safety. Ammonia is toxic, leaks can be dangerous for crews, and burning it incorrectly can lead to greenhouse gases worse than CO2. That's why what JENG pulled off is extraordinary. They built not just an engine, but a fortress of safety systems, monitoring sensors, leak prevention designs, and catalytic filters, ensuring the toxic fuel can be handled without putting lives at risk. The story doesn't end here. Because this engine is not just going into a warehouse or a museum, it's already scheduled to be installed on a brand new ammonia-fueled medium gas carrier, now under construction at the JMU Ariake shipyard. This vessel will set sail in 2026, making it the first commercial ship in history to run on ammonia. J. E. Eng isn't alone in this race. Competitors from Switzerland, Germany and Finland are all chasing the same dream. 
Swiss firm WinGD has an ammonia engine scheduled for installation on a gas carrier. German giant MN Energy Solutions is running full-scale ammonia prototypes and Wartzilla is converting offshore supply vessels to run on ammonia by 2026. The race is intense, but JE Inc. holds one crucial advantage. They've already crossed the line from prototype to certified commercial ready hardware. This isn't theory anymore. It's reality. Let's take a step back into history. The last time the maritime world saw a shift this big was in the early 20th century when ships transitioned from coal-fired steam engines to oil-powered diesel engines. That change rewrote global trade and military power. Oil gave ships longer range, more efficiency and less crew labor. Entire empires rose and fell on that transition. Now, a century later, ammonia could be the fuel that reshapes geopolitics again. Because whoever masters ammonia shipping first gains not just cleaner vessels, but a head start in the trillion dollar clean energy economy. Imagine entire fleets of tankers, bulk carriers and container ships running without emitting CO2, ports outfitted with ammonia fueling stations and global trade routes free from the black smoke that has choked coastal cities for generations. But here's the catch. For this future to happen, the world needs green ammonia produced using renewable electricity instead of fossil fuels. Right now, most ammonia is made from natural gas, which cancels out the climate benefits. That means countries investing in solar, wind and nuclear power will hold the keys to fueling the world's shipping fleets. And Japan is already moving fast to secure its role as a leader in this transition. In fact, J. Eng is already planning a larger engine with a bore of 60 centimeters designed for even bigger ships slated for operation by 2028. They're not stopping at one vessel. They're building an entire ecosystem for ammonia powered shipping from engines to infrastructure. This isn't just about shipping. The same breakthroughs in ammonia combustion and safety could ripple into power plants, industrial boilers, and even long haul transport. Entire industries could pivot to ammonia as a clean energy source and those who adapt first will reap massive rewards. The shipping industry is standing at the edge of a new era. Just like oil replaced coal a century ago, ammonia may replace oil today. And the fact that the world's first certified ammonia powered engine is no longer a dream but a real machine ready to sail is nothing short of historic. The question now is, will the rest of the world follow Japan's lead or will this remain an isolated triumph while other fuels like hydrogen or methanol try to dominate the seas? One thing is certain the race has already begun and the oceans will never look the same again. If you found this breakthrough as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment your thoughts below.